Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. I am Rexon. What do you? What do you? Do? So it's like uh, it's got a plastic protective cover, but the protection didn't help because I cut through the box with my really sharp knife, and it went through everything. Still no knife. Ah, look at him. So this is from Sam Gallimore, who is a uh, How? magnificent bastard. But 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 as of this round of bottles, I think became patron saint. Gallimore, you patron saint of whiskey. Jeez, you okay there? Ding! Ding. Don't cry. Ding. Ding! Ding! Oh, whoops. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, Sam sent. Four I, bottles of scotch because he was sick of watching bourbon on the channel. <laughs> See, that's a magnificent bass, <laughs> right? He does something. He's like, hey, hey, there's something like it, like uh, it'd be different. Then you do something about yeah. it. So I didn't even know there was a 16. Well, it was a special edition that they're going to try to release every year. Only 900 cases of this were ever even shipped. Okay. But he also sent three other malts that we literally just reviewed. So he benevolent bastarded three other bottles by accident. Okay. Because when he sent them, we sure. hadn't yet gotten yeah, yeah, yeah. to them. So this is the one he sent us also, the Port Wine Lafroig, right. the Ardbeg Drum, and the Ardbeg Black. 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 Uh, this is the 16. This one is bourbon cask its whole life. Okay. Which is, you know, stereotypical for Lafroig, mm -hmm. right? They, you know, most scotches, they're going to find their way into, they call it first fill. Yeah, first since they got it. Right. Yeah. Which is confusing if for a lot of people. If it's not ever been filled before with anything, they call it virgin oak. Right. Mm -hmm. But first fill is basically after we already filled it the first time. Oh, man. Smell that. This is bordering Lagavulin 16's subtlety. Oh, I see what That's sort of, did. it's rich. Yeah, like the layering. But there's there. like a soft subtlety to that mess. There's like a swirling of the flavors. Yeah, it doesn't just explode out of the glass with smoke and peat. Of peating. the flavors. Oh. Yeah. So it's a dance. Mm-hmm. A dance of deliciousness. <laughs> of deliciousness. Delicious. This is a dance. Oh man, I can't. This is so one it, of my favorite Lafroy noses and I've ever smelled. So, there's so many things getting thrown at you. It's a little tricky about where to start. I'm getting some chocolate. I'm getting some brine. I'm getting. Mm. I'm getting vanilla. Some vanilla. But it's like a charred creme brulee, charred top vanilla, toasted. And then there's a toasted vanilla, toasted there's, marshmallow. There's a fruity character. Yep. And. But it's like light pear or really, really mild peach. Okay, I was about to say apricot or peach, but I think pear or peach is probably more accurate. Oh. Dude, I, it lands with a thump. And like a little a bit mossy. Yeah, like a meaty, like a thud. But just not like a smoke. Well, just like brine. Right. I mean, it is there. Right, the right. smoke is there. Right. But it's like this briny, mossy earth tone. We're very, very far away from campfire. Yeah. No campfire. But peaty <sighs> smoke, the earthiness, the brininess, the things that you expect from peatiness, not necessarily, I'm not getting a lot of savory meat character though. There's a chance not this campfire, just, I'm not getting like smoked ham, but. There's a chance to just this beat lore for my favorite Lafroy. No, that's a really, really good Lafroy there. That's super nice. We're gonna have to compare. That is so. To the lore. No, I don't actually know if I have any more of the lore right now because it's so hard to get. We ran out of the last one. We can compare it to the classic tin. Well, that's obvious. But uh, we were always doing that. Yeah, but I don't know which one of the other ones is all bourbon. Cast. Now there's like a mint quality in there, which I think that was the characteristic that I, Emma. that I find in common with the Lagavulin 16. Yeah, like let's the, do Lagavulin and Lafroy. Like a mint leaf. Not like a candy mint, but like a mint leaf. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That mint note that I've never found in another Isla, mm. except Lagavulin, well, Lagavulin yeah. until now. Yeah. Okay, so let's first do the 10. Okay. Um, I'm wanting yeah. more. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that is good. It's still lingering. 
I can still taste it, yeah. but it's not lingering with aggressive smoke. Right. It's just like the subtle aftertaste. I am glad that the extra years, yeah. it showed up in force, but it didn't really get too unbalanced and too heavy handed and too dominant in any single direction. Just oh the yeah. Things, the things that a lot of people love about Lefroig, um, all of those kept up really nicely with each other. Yeah, but they just got maturity. Yeah, they got they got subtlety and nuance. Smell the tin just to make sure. Oh no, hold on, just really quick and before we dive into the tin, the 40, 43 and percent on the Lafroig tin and the forty eight percent on the sixteen. Smell this and you'll see. There's the brashness again. Yeah, the explode out of the glass with character and it's got, so you got smoke. Some, got some elbows. It's throwing. Mm -hmm. Tastes a little bit softer than I remember compared to the 48. Yeah, this is the lower proof, I think. But it's still got that aftertaste of the salt. It's a little bit brinier. Mm hmm. And a yeah, little. Yeah, less fruit. Less fruit and a little bit earthier. Brinier, earthier. Mm. But still, oh, man. Still a little whiskey. That's 16. Okay, set that one, but keep track. This is the Lagavulin. Okay. Oh, interesting comparison. So, coming off the heels of the 16, a vanilla jumps out of this glass for the Lafroy. Oh, it's like for a, the butter, Lafroy. a butter... For No, I'm sorry. The Lagavulin. Lagavulin. Okay. The butterscotch vanilla jumps out of the glass. Yeah. On the Lagavulin. But they're remarkably in the same relative oh, family. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously they're Isla, but I think in terms of any Lafroy that's going to be the closest comparison to a Lagavulin, I think it's the, the 16 that mm -hmm. we're having right here. Now, there are differences that you can find. But oh. of the Lafroigs, here's the closest comparison. Strangely, the Lagavulin is both sweeter and saltier at the same time. Whereas the Lafroig 16 has more meat, moss, and earth. You find the meat in the 16, I'm not finding the meat. I go for the meat. I don't find. I go for the meat. I go for the meat. I don't find the meat. Go back to it after the Lagavulin. I get a lot more sweet caramel followed by salt. See, in me, the Lagavulin 16. For me, the, the Lagavulin 16 is still saltier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the sweeter elements in the... Uh, uh, no, no, no. <sighs> the Lefroig 16, to me... Is saltier. Is saltier. Oh, yeah. Compared to I'm the Lagavulin 16, for me, is uh, a sweeter. So wrong. Oh, but they're both so good. So wrong. But they're both so... Yeah, they are amazing. Good. I, I think this might be my favorite Lafroy. <laughs> what do we do about that? Luckily, they're going to release it every year, I guess. Mm -hmm. Good night. You know what though? The uh, in terms of just more less on the toes and more on the heels, and mm -hmm. just got a little bit more laid back between the sixteens. I think the the Lagavulin is a little bit more relaxed and subtle. Yeah. And, and um, I agree. Yeah, but keep in mind though. This is a 43% on the right. Lagavulin, and again, a 48%. So you're dealing with a little bit higher of a yeah. ABV. I agree. Ooh. Comments. Oh! Saga! Saga! Can you, Saga! Can you hit that? Saga! 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 It's pretty good. Oh, you're good. You're good. I don't know why I'm practicing that. <laughs> What's the upside? It's going to be on the test. I can't think of the upside. It's going to be on the test. All right. Ruchids. Uh, that's fair. Ruchids. It's Reddit, so who knows? Ruchids. <laughs> Can anyone uh, suggest a nice peated mainland scotch? Yeah. I have been enjoying the Islas, but I would like to try something from either Highlands or Speyside just to compare how peat complements each region. So I would say if you really want to get the dramatic one, try the peat wheat balvani. Um, and then there's the Benriac peated. There is the uh, Kleinlich and mm -hmm. has a little bit of peat smoke. There's the um, Kregeliki has a nice little hint of it. Uh, there's one specifically that's right on the edge of my brain right now that's harder to get. And it starts with a B. Anyway. Uh, any that you remember that I didn't just name? I'm not thinking about that at all. Oh, Enoch Cutter. Try that one. And uh, if you really want a weird one, the Balakan, which is the peated Edradar. 
So between Lefroig 16 and Lagavulin 16, mm -hmm. Lefroig 16 to me is like uh, the old grizzled, uh, weather-worn fisherman who just came off a day on the high seas and mm -hmm. he's coming down and he's sitting, he came into his little wood house there and he's sitting down and pouring his whip, pouring yep. whiskey. The Lagavulin, there's a little bit more of, um, uh, just a he still lives in the same town, but he's not doing the manual labor. Well, he's more of a gentleman's gentleman. He's like the gentleman's gentleman. Same town, right? Same but, but shared, dressed in shared, outdoor shared, hunting clothing. There, there you go. Not there a you, suit. And uh, a lot of times in front of the campfire. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Super, super good. Can we do this episode again? Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's, let's the same, same thing tomorrow. Right. Yeah. Uh, Captain Angel, infinity bottle question. Is mm -hmm. a decanter a good idea for an infinity bottle? I'd use one with a cork stopper. Yeah. So basically it's an infinity bottle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, Anything that seals well. That's it. Period. And doesn't influence the flavor by sitting it so plastic or something like that. Right. Or metal. Yep. Um, like a flask, that wouldn't work as well. Mm -hmm. If it's glass and it seals well, you're fine. Yeah. Mm. Ah! ah! One more time. Ah! Saga! Saga! I don't feel like I did it as well that time. You don't have the range. You, know, you gotta get the range. Ah! Ah! <laughs> up, up here. Ah. I'm gonna see how they blend. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Meet me where I'm at. <laughs> that was the line that got me. I'm up here. Meet me where I'm at. I'm up here, Dana. Come on. Ah. Come on. Ah. Come on. Oh, you beat me! Damn it! You know, I can go significantly higher than you can. <laughs> do, do it! I, uh, no, I can't remember the highest note, but at one point I managed a, almost a six octave. I don't variation. know what that means, but just make, we're going for a squealy competition. Here you go. What's your highest note? Uh, uh, okay, ready? I can, I can beat that. You ready? Can you? Yeah. <laughs> that might be a slightly higher note. <laughs> By like an eighth of a step. That hurts so bad. <laughs> Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, I'm a little distracted <laughs> for some reason. If you fight me, fight for a friend. Steal, may you steal your lover. And if you drink, <laughs> may you drink with us. Uh, 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 uh. Come on, Lord. Come on, Lord. Todd Limbacher. Come on, Lord.